Hello YouTube and welcome into another part zero video for our summer civilization series, the A&W Challenge. I am the Game Mechanic, you probably know that. Hello, uh, and I have Pedro for you today. I love Pedro. Pedro, I think he's either the first or second Civ I ever won Deity with. Uh, I want to say it was a second, I think, I think I did Japan and then Pedro, whatever, it doesn't matter. But he's a very uh, fun Civ and um, can sort of maybe help you start to understand District district adjacencies um if you are not super familiar with them uh because while while it's not it's not complicated you, you can it's he's one of those sims you can actually see the adjacencies and feel them right away um and that feels good and you can start to realize the value of them um but let's get into it magnanimous is always good magnanimous is just stupid good in a culture game uh ex excellent in a science game and great in everything else yeah everything else um only i was gonna say maybe uh maybe a faith game but honestly he's good at a faith he's good at faith games too you, you, you there aren't multiple profits you can earn um but hey merchants are good i mean there's there's tons of stuff so magnanimous after recruiting or patronizing uh which oh buying versus recruiting okay got it uh, recruiting or patronizing a great person point a uh, great person 20 percent of the great person point is refunded so you get a like a an excel an extra 20 percent boost towards the next one so in a culture game where you're constantly earning um great people ideally uh writers artists things like that you just you get that many more you get them that well maybe not total more but you get them quicker um, and, and if, and if you get them more quickly, then you are, you, your tourism is going to get, get there faster. He's going to win faster. It's going to be great. Um, same with like a science scientist game. Um, those late game scientists, uh, depending on the area you're in are very expensive. Um, and so the fact that you get a disc, uh, or a refund on the, on the cost of it is just nuts. So that, that gets a five out of five for me. That applies to every single game you're playing. You know, you're going to have commercial hubs, um, probably or harbors or something like that. So you're you, like, it's just always good. It's always good. Great people in this game are stupid good. Um, and the fact that you get more of them is pretty nutty as well. So that is a great place to start. Amazon, uh, is, is another good continuation. Um, I would, I would rank this higher, except it is just slightly situational because it is a little bit dependent on your land, meaning you either have to set up your game, uh, as wet, which we often do, um, or reroll until you like your, your capital and your start and you have a bunch of rainforest, uh, which is perfectly fine too. And if you do that, then it's a five out of five. But if you just, if you're, if you're pressing play and you don't get rainforest, then this isn't going to apply to you too much. But if it does apply to you and you do have a bunch of rainforest, it's, it's, it's pretty insane. And this is what I was talking about with the adjacency bonuses. So rainforest tiles give you one solid adjacency bonus for campuses, commercial hubs, holy sites, theater squares. Whoa. That's really good. It's hard to get uh, adjacency out of theater squares. Um, you have to generally stack them in a triangle or put them next to wonders. So if you have just even a couple like extra culture there, that's really, really good and can give you a viable source of culture um, regardless of the game type you're going for. Um, and then is really, really good with the later game uh, policies um, in the civics tree where, where you need the plus three adjacency uh, to kick in on the buildings. Um, so that's really insane for a culture game. He's one of the best culture civs for sure. Uh, but then do that again for campuses, commercial hubs, and uh, notably broken might be holy sites. Um, holy sites, you can take the Dance of the Aurora belief. No, that's the Tundra one. Um, Sacred Path. Sacred Path is the pantheon that gives your holy sites plus one faith for adjacent rainforest. That does double with Pedro. So if you have a holy site that is surrounded by rainforest, that is a plus 12 holy site. What? That's crazy. So he can do religion games as well. Um, obviously, those same rules apply to campuses, commercial hubs. You wind up kind of creating weird districts and... Um, it's best if you find a luxury uh, that is under uh, rainforest um, or on top of rainforest because most of the time rainforest tiles are nice to start with, um, but at some point, especially rainforest hills, you probably do want to chop them um, and put mines or whatever else there. Um, so it's 
it's it's a really strong early game ability and and if you go out of your way to leave some um leave some tiles there then you'll be pretty happy where it does kind of hurt you is maybe like a nice little farming triangle or something like that but guess what rainforest or uh yeah rain rainforest tiles provide one housing for neighborhoods built on them so you have a, you have another mechanic towards housing there to make up for that particular uh deficit so the magnanimous and amazon together like if you just learn how to p play pedro with these things i think you'll start to understand um districts and things like that maybe a little bit better and and understand their value a little bit better um continuing on uh the miniscaris is 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 a is a ridiculous ridiculous unit it is so incredibly strong it's found in the culture tree um and is just a powerhouse it is a ton of bricks if you get to it i mean uh battleships are are good anyways and are basically powerhouse and his are just better um so so that's really good the only reason that doesn't get a higher ranking for me is it is it's a boat um and so if you're doing a pangea map or if you're not doing naval uh domination um it's it's only so useful um but if you are doing naval domination super fun to play pedro as a naval civ um weirdly enough just just for the ship um you unlock it in nationalism uh if you if you do that with culture uh you can get there in a reasonable amount of time and then just you know destroy everybody it's great it's great have try it out it's fun um the street carnival and the copacabana are uh the Co copacabana came a lot came out with rise and fall because they came out with the uh the water park district um they're basically two versions of an entertainment district um they, they build in half half the time because they're unique districts um and then you can also run interesting um uh street carnival projects um which give you kind of just a, a slew of great people points so if you're trying to get if you're trying to just do all the things and even including having admirals and generals and merchants and all that stuff um then it can kind of be cute um i don't tend to build these beyond just the coliseum e even though it's a unique district and, and and has some interesting upside to it um most of the time i'm probably just building it so i can build a coliseum uh so it's 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 not great but honestly like the the the, the half price for for coliseum getting there quicker is, is is decent it's worth noting so um not my favorite district in the world i i just don't i i think the entertainment districts and and um aerodome like things like that need great people associated him associated with them for them to be actually viable even though this one can kind of do interesting things for you you're not going to sit there and run projects you're, you're still probably going to run theater squares or, or campuses campus research grants stuff like that but um overall pedro is a blast to play uh just super flexible good at everything uh highly recommend trying him out um really really you can have some stupid broken games um really a really good sim city uh, type civ and uh, good economy civ so enjoy have fun uh, this is a really fun game uh, I won't spoil what we're up to but uh, it's a good time so hopefully you'll enjoy the let's play thanks for watching guys and don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic come say hi to us in person on the internet and uh, yeah see you there thanks for watching